Stephen, impressed with Ockenden Academy? I'm hugely impressed by Ockenden Academy. I'd, I'd read about it, so I'd heard that the results were on the up and the Ofsted report was excellent, but of course nothing compares to actually visiting, and I think the staff and the children here are a brilliant advertisement for the school. One of the things that the Ockenden Academy is very proud of, they don't live in a bubble, they're related to the outside world and the world of work. So the studio school, what, what's your feelings on that? I'm a big fan of studio schools. I, I'm aware of the programme in other parts of the country. It's very new. So it's not, not yet a, a tested idea, but I think the principle behind it is absolutely right. I think what often happens is the world of education and the world of work are totally separate worlds. And I'm not blaming anyone for that. I think they're just different cultures. And I think anything that breaks that down so that children get the opportunity to learn about employment, to learn about what's needed for work at a young age has to be a good thing. And I think the studio school plans here are very, very exciting. We've also had Mr Gove in the bar, not in Ockenden, but if, if the pupils ask the question, what is the qualitative difference between your approach to education and his approach, what do you put your answer be? One of the things that worries me about Michael Gove's approach is that there is a, an, a focus exclusively on the academic route. Now, I'm in favour of high academic standards, really good literacy and numeracy, but we need really good quality practical and vocational options as well. I'm worried he's downgrading them. My second worry is there's a sort of dogma in his approach, so he likes certain types of school rather than other types of school. Now, as it happens, this is an academy, and I think it's great the way they're using their academy freedoms, but I want to celebrate achievement and success in all schools, whether they're academies or not academies. And particularly at the moment, we've got an issue in some parts of the country of a shortage of places in schools, and I think we need to make sure that the extra money that's available for schools is for those that need that money the most. I don't think that's the approach we're getting from Michael Gove. And, and back to a point you made just earlier with the students who are excellent, uh, was about apprenticeships. About yes. Thorough, it's, it's key to the, to the heartbeat of Thorough because of the ports or because of deep mm. work, et cetera. And, and, but you're, you don't see that argument about apprenticeships around the country. Well, I, 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 what, what the point I made to the young people was I was very impressed that apprenticeships options are clearly explained to the pupils at this school at a young age so it can inform their choices, and I don't see that everywhere that I go. Um, some I've seen it elsewhere, but I don't see it everywhere that I go. And the kind of related worry that I did refer to is a lot of the apprenticeships that are being created in some parts of the country are for older people rather than for school leavers. Now, I'm in favour of adults who've lost their job getting the opportunity to uh, reskill. I think that's brilliant. I'm not against the extra apprenticeships for older people, but I hope that won't be at the expense of good quality apprenticeships for school leavers. And finally, you'll go away from Ockendon Academy with a, with a great impression. What will be your lasting impression of this school? I think, I think my lasting impression will be having met two groups of young people with just an absolutely fantastic set of questions, which reminds me that young people today are incredibly bright, have inquiring minds, and the idea that young people today can be dismissed as some kind of apathetic generation is ridiculous. Thank you very much.